invest today even if it's just one dollar a day today i'm going to be running through a little self experiment that i put myself through i asked myself the question what if i invested just one dollar a day consistently all right hear me out i have been absolutely hooked on this book called atomic habits the entire idea behind this book is that it's not the massive action that we take once or twice it's the small little habits the things that we do consistently that add up to something massive. It's the small changes over time that create a massive impact. And right after being introduced this idea, I also found out that Robinhood, the super reliable app, decided to introduce a new function called reoccurring buys. So naturally, I wanted to put this idea to the test by investing $1 a day every single day and see how it goes for me. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what stock I am investing into, why I chose it, how much has been invested, and at the end, I'll be revealing the results because they're honestly freaking crazy. Okay. On October 6th, 2020, just a couple of months ago, Robinhood released this function that is basically just the reoccurring investments. Invest into your future with a few simple steps. The tagline here is create investing habits with reoccurring investments. I think that's kind of the big thing. The entire point of this is that you don't have to be investing a ton of money. It could be small little amounts that will add up to something very significant. One of the cool things that you could do with this is you could choose any stock that you want. And thanks to fractional shares, you can invest as much or as little as you want to. With us, we're just investing a dollar a day. You could choose any stock that you would like, and you could also select their frequency. You could do daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly. For this experiment, I decided to do daily so that every single day that the market's open, I just invest $1. Now, this reoccurring investments function really isn't anything new. But I do think it's a really good move for Robinhood. Robinhood isn't where I keep my main investment account, but I do think that this function is very useful. And with this, I'm really interested to see what the compound interest looks like over time. Now, if you don't know how powerful compound interest is, Warren Buffett has been known to say that compound interest is the eighth or seventh or ninth wonder of the world. He says it's a big deal. Warren Buffett's a smart guy. He says it's a big deal. And the point of that really poorly phrased saying is that compound interest is massive. It's an important thing that you should be focusing on, especially if you are trying to build wealth. To illustrate this point, let's go ahead and take a look at this compound interest calculator. Now, we're going to do the hypotheticals of my investment experiment here. We're going to start with $1, and every single month, I'm going to contribute about $30. There's roughly 30 days in a month. And then we're going going to go ahead and do the investment return. Now for the investment that I chose, I chose one that has a massive historical run of like 40% every single year. Now I don't think that they're going to be able to keep that sort of growth. I think it's going to be much closer to a very modest 12% a year. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And if you look at this over five years, the total invested amount would be 460 after one year. And then year two would be 820 and so on and so forth. And after five years here, we would have invested $1,900 and then got back $757 back in interest, which actually isn't that bad. Now, the power of compound interest doesn't kick in immediately. It's something that starts to add up over time. And this is why starting with compound interest early makes a massive difference. So after 15 years, we would have roughly $15,000, which is pretty decent. Our total principal would be $5,500 and our interest, what we're earning from our money would be $10,000. So at this point, we have already earned more than we've invested, which is crazy. But let's start to expand this to an even wider view. Let's just go as far as as this calculator goes, you can see these numbers starting to really pile up. Let's go ahead and do 40 years. At 40 years, you can see here that it is at 368,000 with a total invested of $14,500 and the interest being 353,000, which is ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and do this one more time and just bump it up just an additional 10 years after that. And as you can see, that is an absolutely insane 1.2 million from investing $18,000 over 50 years. Now, I'm sure none of us are wanting to wait 50 years to become a millionaire. We all want to become millionaires in the next five years, 10 years by creating really solid sources of income. But this is just such a crazy way to become a guaranteed millionaire by investing $1 a day. Just about anybody can invest a dollar a day. I've been doing this for 53 days now, and I haven't noticed the $53 
being lost at all. And to be honest, I don't think over the next 50 years, I would really notice the difference between this investment being in my account versus being in the stock market. The big thing I want you to pay attention to is the difference between 40 years, which is 368,000 and 50 years, which ends up coming out to 1.2 million. That 10 year span tripled the money. Why? Because this is, this is that power of the compound interest. It really starts to ramp up over time. If you look at a chart of Warren Buffett's wealth, he hasn't accumulated all of his wealth early in his life. It's been very late in his life and his wealth looks exactly like this chart. Slow to start and really, really fast on the later years of his life. And just for reference from Mr. Ram Swizzle hey. himself, let's take a look at this chart. This is just a very very brief illustration between Jack and Blake. Jack started with $2,400 every year and he did that for nine years. He starts when he's 21 years old and then he didn't put any money in after that nine years. He ends up with 2.5 million. Now, Blake didn't start until he was 30, just nine years later. And Blake invests $2,400 every single year, all the way up until he's 67. That's 38 years of investing $2,400 a year. And he still is left with less than Jack. So Jack invested only 21,000 and he's left with 2.5 million. And Blake invested 91,000 and he's left with 1.4 million. Why? It's that time in the market. It's that compound interest that makes a massive difference. Start today. With that being said, which company have I decided to put my hard earned money? money into. The stock ticker is ARKK. This is an innovation ETF. Think of an ETF like a basket of companies. It's just a variety of different things that you're buying into all at once. This ETF is based around innovation. It's companies that are really disruptive and are making a big impact into our world. This has been the five-year growth of ARK and their performance has been nothing short of exceptional. You can see that if you started back in December 4th, 2015, the stock price was $21 and five cents. That is absolutely insane. The growth on this stock has been absolutely bonkers. Kathy Woods, the person who is running this fund has been doing a phenomenal job. Let's take a look at some of their holdings and kind of see what exactly we are investing into by buying ARK. Now, ARK has a ton of different investments that they are holding onto, but we're just going to take a look at their top 10 holdings because that's what's going to sway the price in this stock the most. So as you can see here, their biggest holding by far up to this point has been been Tesla, which is honestly such a great call. Tesla has grown an insane amount this year and they show no signs of slowing down. This is roughly 10% of what you are investing into whenever you buy ARK. Next, we have Roku. Roku has also been growing a decent amount. Uh, they're just a video streaming service and they have their hands in a lot of different things. The next few are going to be genetics companies. Then we have Square, Slack, which is something that I use inside of my business every single day. All of these are companies that we have seen change the landscape of media, of advertising, of manufacturing, of electric vehicles, or whatever. All of these companies have been disruptive in one way or another, and their stock prices have represented that. The nice thing about ARK is they are constantly changing the percentages and the holdings that they have inside of the fund, and it's being actively managed by Kathy Woods, who is an absolutely brilliant investor. With that being said, these holdings are constantly changing in percentages and what is actually inside of our ETF basket. So it's something that I could just buy, set it, and forget it. Now let's go ahead and hop into the Robinhood app and look at the performance. As you can see here, I have been investing a dollar a day since October 9th, which if we pull up the date from today, which is December 1st to October 9th, that has been roughly 53 days. Now this has been $1 a day thanks to fractional shares, and that's just buying a portion of a stock instead of the full one. So we could get pieces of the share instead of having to buy a full share every single time. This has been $1 a day, except for a few days, which I just want to point out for full transparency. On September 11th, we did invest $147. That was just my initial investment into ARK. I was just moving over some money. And then a little bit later here, I also invested an additional $100. I was trying to do a Bitcoin video and that didn't end up working out. So I just threw that money into ARK here. Besides those two investments, every single day, I have been
been investing $1 a day since October 9th. So you can see here all of these different investments. Every single day that the market was open, we just threw in $1 here. So nothing crazy. It's only been 53 days. I don't even think we've had the opportunity to get any dividends, which ARK is not known for their dividends. They only have a 0.07 dividend yield, which is very, very low for a dividend yield. And with all that being said, let's take a look at the performance of 53 days with $1 a day. Our total return up to this point has been 21%, which is ridiculous. That is such massive growth. Overall, that is $62 back from our original investment. And the current stock price is going to be $112. And our current average cost for how much we've paid per share for ARC is $93. So we our average is $93 and it's currently valued at $112. The nice thing about buying consistently is that we are averaging into the market. If the market's really high one day, then we buy a share. If it's really low one day, we buy a share. And so every single day, by purchasing $1 a day or $5 a day or $10 a day, you average out that price. So you're never buying too high or buying too low. It's sort of just what the stock price is on average. What this goes to show is that anybody can get started with investing and still get very good returns. Even if it's just a dollar a day, you could still become a millionaire. The point is, is you have to just start and you have to start now. Even if it's just a dollar a day, starting today is better than starting in 10 years. Remember the story of Jack and Blake. Jack started 10 years earlier and invested way less and he ended up walking away with more because he started now. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if this is the second, third, fourth time that you're seeing me and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and join the freaking family. That's it for this one though, guys. I will see you on the next video. Peace.